So there's still no word on LeBlanc's uh, whereabouts or when he's coming back? Hmm. I see. No. No, no, no. It's all right. I'll find him. Yeah. We'll see. All right. Damn it. Damn. Who is it? from Quebec about Frisco? No, not yet. Any word from anybody? You mean our kidnapper friends? Yes, I'm still frightened every time somebody knocks on the door or the phone rings. Felicia, honey, I know exactly what you mean. I can see all those knives placed on the table and all of them pointing at me. Felicia, honey, I explained all that to you. I know, but I can still feel that slashing on my face. It felt like it went right through the bone. It was awful. Princess, it was just a trick to get you to talk. I talked because I was afraid they would hurt you. I know you did, but you didn't tell them anything they didn't already know. Didn't you say that up until then they believed everything that the WSB was telling them about Frisco? Yeah, I know what I said, but now I... What? You know, the more I think about this whole thing, the more I'm convinced that these people had no intention of hurting us at all. Well, what about the electric cattle prod? All right, all right. It jolted me around quite a bit, but it didn't kill me, and there's no permanent damage. So what are you thinking? What I'm thinking is... That if these people were really a faction of the terrorist group that the WSB states has even infiltrated Canada, they wouldn't have been so kind. You'd be walking around today with a scar on your face. Who do you think they are? I'm not sure. Well, maybe it could be some group of people that help terrorists in the United States. Maybe. Could be. Who is it? It's Tinkerbell. Would you let me in? <laughs> All right, honey, just a minute. Hi. Woo. Hi. Well, hi, Felicia. Hi. What are you two super clues doing here with the door locked, huh? Oh, I, I, I guess I forgot I locked it. <laughs> oh, well, should I be jealous? Oh, absolutely. Good. I love playing the scorned woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to get back to the office. I'll talk to you later. All right, sweetheart. Okay, I'll, uh, okay. I'll be in later, all right? Huh? Pretty lucky guy to have two beautiful women drop in on me so early in the morning. Yeah, and locking the door behind both of them. Oh, that, I, uh, I guess it's just old habits. Is everything all right? Oh, everything is fine. Oh, you're here. I'm serious, Sean. So am I. How's our wedding coming along? Huh? It isn't. What do you mean, it isn't? Maybe we should postpone the marriage just a little bit. Mm. I thought you said you wanted to be a June bride. I do want to be a June bride. I do. Everything is just so complicated right now. I mean, I'm not ready for it. I didn't know when Cheryl would be back. She could go into kidney failure anytime. She needs to go on dialysis. She may even need a transplant. And then we get off on this honeymoon, you know. And, you know, it just to be us. I mean, she might need me. You mean she might need your kidney, right? Oh, I do owe her that. <laughs> You know, I love you even more for the way you feel. But believe me, no matter where we are on our honeymoon, we're only hours away from Port Charles. Well, not from where I want you to take me. Ooh. Well, where's that? <laughs> You're going to have to marry me to find out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to marry you all right. <sighs> that one is etched in stone. Ooh. Then you don't mind if we wait just a little bit until I make sure that Cheryl's going to be okay? Of course not. We had this long, a couple more weeks won't kill us. Ooh, but it could hurt. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure she's okay. She's a healthy maid of honor. Yeah. yeah, and with Robert being my best man, those two will be doomed to connubial bliss right after mm -hmm. us. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, Mrs. Donnelly.
say somewhere. I got a business to run. Mm. <laughs> uh, do you want me to uh, wait for you? What? Uh, no, no, honey. Why don't you uh, run along? I'll, I'll see you tonight, all, all right? right. Bye. Bye-bye. Donnelly. Sean, it's Felisa. Yeah, I was just on my way down the office. What's up? I'm sorry to bother you right now, but I thought maybe you heard something from Canada about Frisco. I know, Princess. I'm sorry. Not yet. <laughs> Um, before I forget, when I was being interrogated right after the routine with the ice, I was all worked up. But then I thought I heard a woman's voice in that group. That's interesting. Do you remember it was a woman who called me that same day and warned us to keep quiet about everything? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Um, Princess, do me a favor. Hold on the fort for a while, huh? I'll be in touch. Okay. All right. I'm able to do that. Hi. Hi. You busy? I'm not interrupting. No, no, no. I'm glad you're here. I was just thinking about you. Would you like some coffee? No, no, thanks. Uh, you were just thinking about me? I was. It seems very quiet in here. Empty, kind of. It is. Yeah. Anna's not going to be in today, and Sean just told me to hold down the fort. So you're all alone. All alone and lonely. <laughs> Sounds like a song. Yeah, it does. <laughs> mm. When you go to General Hospital will continue in a moment. Why'd you sit down? Thanks. Actually, I was kind of hoping maybe we could go to lunch or something like that. Oh, I didn't have breakfast. You did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is kind of early. I woke up so early this morning. I had breakfast hours ago. I like to walk down by the riverfront and watch the mist rising off the Port Charles River. Oh, speaking of the riverfront, I heard a longshoreman tried your patience a couple of weeks ago. Oh, you mean with Melissa? Yeah, I guess you could say and that. Did you throw him in the drink? No, no. Actually, I threw him into some boxes that were piled up there. <laughs> now you're Melissa's big hero, probably. Oh, boy, I hope not. <laughs> You're a strange mixture. I am? Yeah. Everybody that I've talked to about you, your mother and a few other people, say that when you were younger, you were very different. Even Lucy. But now, you're very gentle and... I don't know, I just... You don't understand? Right, I understand. What changed you? It was like... like a blinding flash of light. And then I woke up, like waking up out of a dream. And I thought, my God, Colton, you're still alive. And I was uh, so happy just to be alive. In the Marines? Yeah. Yeah, I was in the Marines. <laughs> 